to give you a quick tutorial on how to make these amazing magical wands. So to start, you're going to want to get some dowels. These are wooden dowels. These ones are about as thick as a pencil, uh, but I've also used ones that are thicker than these. And you can probably go a little bit thinner and still have it work. And then you want some thick paper. This isn't super floppy like paper that comes out of your printer. This is thicker. This is cardstock. And if you look on the package, this kind that I like to use is 65 pound cardstock. So it's super hard to fold and it's gonna make a nice thick wand. But you can also try it with different kinds of paper if that works for you. And then some white glue. Maybe you have white glue left over from last school year that you can use. And then you might want to use a glue gun for some decorations and I'll show you how to do that. Here is how it starts. This is my page just with some white glue that I'm just brushing around and you don't even have to use a brush. You can just squiggle it around if you have one of the squeeze tops. And I'm going to take my stick and I'm going to get it started in a corner. I'm going to roll it up pretty tightly. I'm going to push the stick back down here a little bit to even it out. And there we have it. This is the start to our stick. So now I'm going to push this corner down, make sure that stays nicely. I'm going to twist it a little bit. And you don't have to do this twist part. But I think it makes it look a little bit more like wood like a wooden wand with all of these bends in it, these twists, these knots that stick out. And you can kind of work it a little bit, add a little bit of extra paper if you wanted to add an extra rectangle to this end to give it a kind of thicker handle, or you can wait to do that until you do the glue gun. And we are starting to get the shape of a wand. These are examples of what it looks like after it's already dry. Now we're gonna move on to painting them. Here it is, my first coat of paint. I paint all of my wands black to start. And this is actually a house paint that I used to paint my Dr. Seuss playroom. But you can also use acrylic craft paint. Finger paint is not going to work very well because it's washable. And we're trying to add a first coat that's going to be thick and it's going to add to the shininess of your wand. And you really want whatever color you put on top of this to be vibrant and just really rich. And I think that a black is the best start to any wand. So all of my wands start out black, then I have them dry. So the steps I do it in is first I paint it black, then I add glue gun, then I start painting. You could also do a coat of colored paint first, like paint the whole thing pink, then do some glue gunning up here, then paint that glue gun part, then do another glue gun part, then paint that. You can really do the steps in any order that you think is great. You could also add puff paint to the top layer after you've already painted it. And so you could have the polka dots, the stripes, everything could be in puff paint instead of hot glue gun. And maybe your parents would like that more because you can use puff paint and not get hurt, you got get burnt by the glue gun. And then you can add sequins or jewels or sparkles or any other designs or things that you want to to your wand. Here's what my wands look like. I have the wood one where I made 
the glue gun do all of these stick looking shapes and then I paint it over it with kind of this coppery bronze. And then the tip I just did is a glue gun ball tip. And then for the top part, I just found a wood chip in my yard, a nice super thick one and I glued it in there really firmly. Then I had a princess one where I made some swirls with my glue gun and then did some cool painting. I made this part extra thick with the glue gun. I just kind of gooped it down and then I used a toothpick to kind of smooth it out because when you touch hot glue gun glue, it really burns. You don't want to touch it with your fingers. But if you're trying to shape it, you can, you can use a tool to help you. And then I have this cool jewel at the top. I love the jewels. And the bottom it looks like I found a really cool marble and put that in for the bottom. This one I decided to go with this cool spiky polka dot look. These are sticking out from the glue gun dots and I painted it over it and again made a little blobby part up here which I thought was cool because sometimes they like to have like an extra thick handle and another jewel and this is a glue gun blob at the end. This one has pearls. I decided to go pearls. This kind of looks Slytherin to me. I kind of swirled everything down kind of snake-like. This is um, a little piece of wood I found in one of my fake flower baskets and I painted it silver and put a big pearl at the top. A big marble I found for the top of this one. Here's how I glue gunned this one with just some different stripes. Kind of an extra special handle that I'm trying to do for each of them. And then I went down with a little jewel for the tip. Here's one, there's another pearl, some swirls, lots of blues and blacks. Here's a gold one with some designs for the handle, a jewel, and then a really cool stone I found in one of my tiny thing boxes. This one, another jewel for the end, and I made kind of this fiery look at the end, and that's where the fire comes out of your wands, right? And then this giant cool pearl I found in one of my treasure boxes. And then this, I just sewed this, because I like to have a way I can bring this with me, like when I bring it to primary and we use it for conducting. And so I just found some velvet at a fabric store, and then some fake leather, also at the fabric store, and I just sewed it over, and I sewed a little handle, and then I have a little tie for it so I can just carry this with me when I go to primary and just pull it out. And then I can also grab this and flip it open and I can hang it up on the board. So that's pretty cool too. That's it. I hope this was helpful and that you'll be able to make some super wands. Benito!